we uh, had a little bit shorter practice today. Um, it was really uh, on execution, getting ready for A day, um, you know, offensively and defensively. The way we're going to do A day this year is we'll start out with uh, a 10 minute seven on seven. Uh, Jarrett Stidham will be a part of that. He will not be a part of the actual scrimmage part, but uh, we'll do a 10 minute seven on seven. And then we'll go ahead and start, um, start our scrimmage. And we'll go ones on twos exactly like we've done before. It'll be the same format as far as that and as far as the kicking game and everything that goes with that. And um, really looking forward to our guys, you know, getting out there and, uh, and uh, doing their thing in front of our crowd. So we're re really excited with that. Um, just a couple injury updates. Um, Caleb Kim uh, had an injury um, the last week. He will not participate, but he'll be back uh, in a short period of time. Uh, Tucker Brown and Phelps Gamble will start out as our centers. And uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, Devin Barrett uh, will play some wide receiver. He'll also play some some running back, and Devin's a real versatile guy, and he's the type that, uh, you know, you need to try to find ways to get him the ball. And so with our injury, with a couple of the injuries we had at wide receiver, and uh, so we moved him out. So you will see him Saturday playing some of our flanker position, and then he'll also play some tailback uh, as far as that goes. But overall, uh, we're ready to, to get out there and, and ready for Saturday to get here and, and watch your kids do their thing. Questions? Yeah, what, if it's, what if it's right now? No, I mean, if it's just raining, we're planning on playing. Um, so we're, we're, we're moving forward. I mean, if, obviously, if it's inclement weather and safety issue, that'll be a different deal. Uh, the yeah. Devin Barrett thing, is that kind of a response to Eli and Will Hastings going down? Uh, you know, uh, I would say a, a little bit, just thinking ahead for next year. You know, Devin's got a unique skill set. You know, he was very good on the perimeter last year. And so, uh, and he catches the ball. I mean, he catches the ball like a wide receiver. But... So, uh, but it's good. I think it's good for our team and good for him, you know, moving forward, being able to, to be versatile like that. Yes, with the, the center position, Mike Horton, is that a guy that you get through a day and then maybe kind of look at You know, I, but, but, uh, those guys will all be back. So, uh, you know, I, I, I was impressed, um, you know, with Nick and, and then Caleb both. I think both of them before their injuries, I mean, was really getting better and there was some really good competition. So. Um, you know, I doubt that'll happen. I mean, we do have the flexibility. If you had a lot of injuries, that that Mike could, uh, you know, could could provide depth. But uh, we feel good about those centers. Just from a big picture standpoint, what do you feel like you've accomplished this spring? Well, I, I know we've gotten better in a lot of different areas. Um, you know, we we talked about uh, you know improving, and not just the young guys, because a lot of times you can focus on those guys, but the older guys finding a way to get better too, and that's been a focus. And I really feel like. Our older guys have taken a step. Uh, it's been very beneficial for our quarterbacks. I mean, um, you know, Jarrett came back a couple weeks ago and did the seven on seven and the team versus scouts. But both those young quarterbacks, there's nothing like getting out there and running the offense, especially, you know, when you get a chance to get out there with a one. So, you know, developing depth, uh, quality depth, I think has, has really been good. Um, you know, so overall, I, I think it's a very successful spring up to this point. You, you know, we'll see where that goes. You know, this is just, uh, it's been a week and a half, so I'm not ready to say either way, other than he's a versatile guy and uh, you can do a lot of different things. How big of the change is that really for him, though, Gus? I mean, last year in the season, he seemed to be lined up a lot in that two and three spot anyway, so is this that much of a significant uh, It's not much as you would think, you know, with the, with the different things that we did with him last year. Uh, you know, the thing that's really stood out to me is he does a very good job judging the ball and attacking the ball when it's vertically thrown down the field. So, uh, you know, he's he's a, he's a versatile guy. Do you think his future could be a receiver? I'm not ready to say that yet. You know, this is just kind of a, a temporary thing for the last week and a half and, of course, a day and all that. But, uh, you know, he's a guy that, that we're looking to take that next step. And... Uh, you know, he, he showed he can protect the football last year as a freshman and and did a good job on the perimeter. Yes, just how important has it been just to have the 7-on-7 seven seven portion of things for Jared yeah. heading into the summer building portion? Yeah, it's been very good. And, you know, just his command when he's out there just feels different, which it should. I mean, he's a veteran guy. And, you know, he's like a coach <laughs> on the field now. That You know, last year he was still learning the offense and, and learning Chip, and Chip was learning him, and just feels different. And uh, he's got got a very good 
a grip on our offense and uh, you know what we need to accomplish in the summer too. Yes, how much of a challenge has the center position been, not just for those guys, but for the quarterbacks? I mean, you're trying to, you got backup quarterbacks that have spent a lot of significant time, yeah. and they're, they're rotating along with second, third, walk-on yeah. centers. How much of a challenge that Yeah, been? I think you brought up a good point because it doesn't matter if it's Jarrett Stenham or, or a young guy, you know, when you have a different center with the way they snap it and the rotations and everything that goes with that, it can definitely be a challenge, there's no doubt. But but I will say this, I mean, I think there's been pretty good consistency, you know, as far as the procedures, because that's what you always worry about, the snap count and the procedures and the checks and everything that goes with that. I think the biggest challenge for those quarterbacks is just, you know, one of them may spiral a little bit better than the other, a little bit knuckleball and all that. And um, But, you know, so that, that definitely has been a challenge. We have uh, Chip Lindsey and coordinators in the booth. You just keep them on the sideline. The, the, they'll be on the sideline just like we've done in the past and have headsets on and, and all that, and I'll be able to communicate with them too. What What are you looking for Saturday? I mean, when you kind of break it down, what are you looking for? Yeah, Saturday? yeah. I'm, I'm looking big picture execution. Our guys to play extremely hard, play good, good, clean Auburn football, and uh, you know that's that's really the main thing. And then obviously, you know, we're going to go ones against twos and. And every spring, you know, there's been somebody to step up and, and make some plays that maybe they hadn't made, you know, up to this point. There's nothing better than evaluating your players, not only at scrimmage, but even in front of your crowd. Because there's just there's just something to being out there in front of the crowd and some guys seize a moment. So that's supposed to be any live kicking game? No, it would be no live kicking game. But now we went live the last two two Saturdays and it's been really good, but we'll have it set up exactly like we've done in the past. I mean, we'll do the field goal and extra point when it presents itself. Uh, we'll let our guys come out and our snapper and our punter and punt returners, we'll flip the field, and uh, but there'll not be live special teams. How do you, you put a lot of emphasis on that? How do you feel about <coughs> coverage units and then also your returners and who's kind of working Yeah, it's the same group that we've had, but you know, really, probably the biggest emphasis in the spring has been cover units because because we were, we weren't very good in the punt, punt cover or the kickoff cover. So um, that's really been our focus, and uh, you know, and I know we've gotten better, and a lot of that is, is an attitude, you know, and just uh, so it's been good for for Coach Porter to kind of evaluate everything and. Um, we're in a good spot, you know, in the coverage units, at least with the information that we have uh, through the live work, you know, going into the fall. Yes, we've heard a lot about a lot of the young defensive backs. How pleased have you been with the way they kind of transitioned? So you know, they, they, they all have ability. That's the first thing. I mean, you, it's, it sticks out. I mean, they, they all have ability, and, and you've seen that group grow. Uh, they're very coachable. Uh, they're trying to do what their coaches ask them to do, and, um, they're a talented group, so you know there's nothing like reps. I mean, you just you got to keep keep putting them in there and keep letting them do their thing. But uh, they all they all can play. Because where are you with the tight end and H back position? You feel like you have a good feel as to what you have. And yeah, you have I, I think he, yeah, and uh, you know, Coach Porter, he's done a good job. You know, we we have a lot of information, um, you know, with Chandler. And just trying to develop some depth that position, and and we've really worked hard with with our tight end. I know we've had more probably tight end work with our hand down than we've had probably the last few springs, and that's been by design. And so, uh, you know that that's that was that's been good in the spring. How's that John Samuel doing there? Yeah, he is playing with his hand down and playing some H back too. Real versatile guy that um, you know him and Jalen are really doing a lot of the same stuff as far as that goes. And Sal's worked with his hand down quite a bit. Not as much H-back, but but quite a bit with his hand down um, as far as that goes. So um, it, it's been good work, though. John put, put on any weight? Yeah, I think John's close to 250 right now. He has put on weight. And, uh, you know, he's got good hands, and you know, he's a baseball player and all that. So it, this spring's been good for him, and he's got a whole lot of reps. And, um, you know, we you see him improving. I mean, he's, he still needs to, you know, keep working, but you see him improving. Is there a chance Noah will play both ways? What's that? Is there a chance that Noah will play corner and play? Uh, I, it, it is possible, but uh, he'll start out on defense, and he's uh, he's really done a good job. You know, he's got uh, he's got a he's got an edge to him. Um, you know, he's got that confidence that it takes to be successful playing corner. It's just you know, it's it's kind of new to him. But every practice, you can see him being more comfortable. You guys about asking for 
specifics, obviously. Have y'all got anything, put in anything different, changed any, any scheme things this spring? You know, usually the last week of spring, you kind of look at some wrinkles and all that. There's been a few things that uh, we've looked at, but the main thing, especially up front, is just giving those guys a base and continuing to, uh, you know, to work at the techniques and the fundamentals. And like I say so many times, is working beside the guy beside you and that communication that goes with and everything that goes with it. So. Uh, there were some things that Chip played around this week, but uh, up front, it's, it's been pretty much, uh, you know, status quo. And, uh, and that's, you know, with the youth that we had, that was by design, too.